When I was six years old, I broke my leg. And I was running from my brother and his friends. Hey, hey, hey. I'm so happy to see you here. And today I will tell you about my another day in my trip to St. Petersburg. And I will show you the most unique days uh, of my trip to St. Petersburg because uh, St. Petersburg is her characterized by gloomy weather, rainy and grayness and apathetic mood but that day it was really sunny and the weather was just perfect for like walking outside and I was just insanely happy about it and I will show you this day of course first of all I immediately went to the center of the city to my favorite St. Isaac's Cathedral it's a popular attraction in St. Petersburg and the reason why I went to the center of the city is why there are so many beautiful buildings and just uh, architectural part of the whole city there. I was just enjoying the rays of the sun and was watching the passers by, but uh, it was such a pity that it, at that moment I was thinking like uh, I wish there was someone who would just take a beautiful picture of me in that place. But... Then I was just walking through the streets and my mom wanted to go to the museum. So I was walking with her to this museum. And then when I walked my mom, I decided to go to some places that I would enjoy going. And on my way, I went to the courtyard of one of the buildings to show you a typical St. Petersburg courtyard. Uh, then, as I was already in the center of the city, I decided to visit uh, the fame, like the most famous bookstore. I was still walking and just enjoying the sun and the warm weather. And I love when I hear musicians playing on the streets. It happens pretty often there. I was in such a mood, like a calm mood, when I just didn't want to rush things. I wanted just to stand there, read a book, choose something for myself. At that moment, I was just enjoying being alone. I'm watching the people around me and enjoying this atmosphere. Not really a great part, but it's a fact. There are always crowds of people in this bookstore. And actually, I chose two books and I was happy about it, especially as there were some discounts on them. And I decided that it was time to go. Then I went to meet my mom uh, and we were planning to go to the excursion together. So we went to an interesting place called Stiglitz Academy. Stiglitz, 
Uh, this is a place where students of art field study now. Some guided tours are also held here and actually this is kind of a museum at the same time. So students study there but it's also a museum with different guided tours. surprised by how incredibly beautiful the building looked from the inside and it was the first time I went there so I was glad to see it and just imagine people go every day there to study draw their paintings in such amazing place wow. As for me, I immediately thought of how many beautiful photos a person can take there, how many videos they can film there, or like you can even, I don't know, like film a series of episodes there, uh, or like a movie, and it would look amazing. Petersburg, a great amount of beautiful architecture. Uh, the worst part was that our guide wanted us to hurry up every time and we didn't have much time on each location. By the way, I have a friend who studies at this university and she was dreaming about entering this university for long and the first time, uh, one year when she was uh, trying to enter this university, she couldn't do it, but she waited for another year, uh, took another exams, and then in a year she entered, and, and I I'm just was happy for her. She was dreaming of draw cartoons and make animation, and I I I'm just glad that she made her dream come true. Uh, I'm being emotional all the time this moment. Like when people fulfill their dreams or goals, it just inspires me a lot. Funny fact I was constantly arguing with the guards because I couldn't keep up with the group and the guys. And because I wanted to take a lot of photos, I wanted to take a lot of videos there. But at the end, they let me in. To be honest, I'm not a fan of excursions and usually I'm just um, enjoying the place itself or just thinking about something that comes to my mind and I'm not really listening to the guide. This building reminds me pretty much of European architecture. I also think that the whole center of St. Petersburg is similar to Europe a lot. And you can see it like through history, uh, like Peter the First, Peter the Great created it, uh, similar to some European cities, so that's why it looks like Europe. That's why when I come to the city, I kind of feel like I'm not really in Russia. And to be honest, I am 
not a fan of Russian so I just feel better when I'm in this city okay time to go and then we decided to have a lunch in the cafe museum actually the guard didn't want me to let in because i didn't buy a ticket to the museum so i just didn't want to visit the museum i just wanted to visit the cafe by the way the food wasn't really good not so tasty as it happens most of the time in cafes and museums talking to my mom uh, we were talking about the food and she said that food uh, helps her to overcome stress I told her that food actually doesn't help with the reasons of stress and it just is a temporary destruction and she said like yeah I know it so then I was just thinking where should I go next and I was just enjoying my food So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed walking in St. Petersburg with me, same as I was enjoying that day, because of the sunny weather and the atmosphere of this city. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you later!